Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to use create data frame with schema in PySpark. In our previous videos, we did use this function, create data frame function, but we did not define the schema. Instead, we provided the, the data and once this function was used, it read the data and automatically defined the schema for us. In this video, we are going to define the schema first and then use with this function to create the data frame. Now here we need the struct type first of all. What is struct type? Struct type is a data type in PySpark that is used to define the schema of a data frame. Now it groups multiple columns together which each column is defined using a structure field. So see right there first of all we have a struct type and each one field is right there and we have ID column here and then we have in type and digit type and then uh, is either nullable or uh, not nullable. So here is false, that means uh, not nullable. Then we have name, then we have age and uh, string type and uh, age is also integer and these both can be nullable. So we have uh, written true here. So our uh, struct fields are defined here. This is our struct uh, type is defined here and uh, that's the name we have given to it. And uh, to use this, uh, we have to import uh, uh, this uh, struct type. So that's why this uh, line of the code is doing it. Now in the next uh, what we are doing it uh, we we have a data define so this is array data we, we you can see that we have one uh, two and three four records here and uh, we have IDs uh, we have name here and age if you see I have put the none here in one of the field and um, uh, none mean in uh, null in PySpark so you don't write null that we do in the SQL uh, but uh, here in the PySpark you will be using none that will be equal to the null okay now we have our struct type uh, schema ready and we also have data ready what we can do we can use create a data frame function here to create the data frame so data frame equal to spark dot create data frame do we provide the parameter called the data so this is a that's the data we are using from array right here and then we are telling schema is equal to my schema so here remember that we have defined the my schema and uh, that's the way we are using them so you can give any proper name i just gave my schema now uh, here once uh, the data frame is created we are showing data frame so and then uh, at the end uh, we are also using uh, the print schema to see the schema so let's run this cell and take a look on the output. So see right there, it has created the ID name and age. Those are the column names for, and these are the values for our table here, or data frame actually. And here is our print schema. So you see that we have ID integer null label is equal to false. So it means it cannot have null values. And then we have other name and age that is, this is string and this is integer but uh, they can be null. So you see right there, they, the, the uh, name has the null value right there. And that is coming from here. See, this was the name here. So if I will put my name here, now Amir, then it will not be null. Okay, so we can execute that one. Okay, our cell has been executed and now we can see that our data frame uh, has the updated value and here is Amir. So that's great and uh, uh, the print schema is uh, doing the same, it's not changing because we have already defined the schema and that's it's gonna stay as is. Now let's experiment a little bit more and see what happened. Let's say if I have defined the schema, I said ID, name and age, these are three columns I need. And uh, now this cannot be uh, null. So in case if I will try to put uh, none here in this uh, ID and uh, execute my cell, it's gonna throw me error and it's telling me, hey, guess what? You wanna create the schema and here is the error. This field is not nullable, but you got null. So that's good. I mean, I'm getting this information right there. It's a little highlighted as well. So that is helping me to in the debug process. Now, uh, it brought me here. That's where the error happened. So, you know, um, so kinda, you know that, but actual error is right here in the data. So, but it tells you like when it is trying to create the data frame, that's where it is getting the error. And uh, you can fix it by even making it nullable or, uh, you know, you can fix your data. So let's uh, fix the data here. And now one more thing, uh, let's say if uh, I remove one column from here. Now, instead of three columns, uh, we have three columns, ID, and I'm gonna reject this one. Uh, I have, we have ID, name, and age. In the first row, uh, row 
uh, or the array value I just remove uh, the uh, age so let's see if we rerun what error we get uh, I just want to make sure um, you understand uh, this uh, when you are creating the data frame and uh, you have defined the schema and uh, uh, it's, it's values are not there uh, what type of error you will get so here is the length of the object 2 does not match with the length of the fields 3. So remember that here we have fields 1 field, 2 field and 3 fields and here we have only 2. That's what it is telling us. So it is also helping us kind of, hey, um, it didn't show actually highlight this one here but it's showing the data like which is problem. So uh, let's see if it gives you, yeah, uh, if name is no, no. Okay, this give more details, but uh, anyways, uh, uh, that's what you need to take a look uh, on the data. So fix your data and then you will be just fine. If you execute back, uh, it, it should be a uh, good. Now you can see that uh, we have data frame with the column names and uh, the data types are also shown by the print schema. I thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel and I will see